Okay. Along with the beef that we're going to be serving, we're going to have polenta. And I think I mentioned polenta is a very basic cornmeal mush, basically. Uh, we are going to jazz it up with some cheese and the polenta works best and I, I only know this because I'm a real fan of Cook's Illustrated, but uh, we're going to boil the water. Probably should have done that first. And then we're going to add just about a little teaspoon of baking soda and some salt. I'm going to do that right now, so I'm just going to put it down right there and hope it doesn't spill. So we're going to let that, uh, that go. We're going to serve our beef and our polenta with some asparagus and asparagus is a little bit out of season but I was able to find some at Sprouts it looked like it was the last little bunch of it but it still looks pretty good so we bought it and it wasn't that expensive a little bit of oil a little bit of butter about half and half in the pan we're gonna let that heat and then we're gonna pan roast the asparagus my favorite way of making vegetables you can make any vegetable tastes marvelous just by pan roasting it. So we're going to do that. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, my goodness. I have, I have every burn, every burn on the stove going. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I touched the dog. Now. So, Ashley, you're going to be coming home soon, I think. Uh, you're down to the last three places. I think the last place you go is Spain. Love Spain, been there a couple times, and I have some fabulous recipes that I'm going to share with you. I took a cooking class in Spain while I was there. It was really fun, so I'll try to duplicate that. But in the meantime, here we go, asparagus in the pan. Ooh, beauteous. Love them. My favorite. All right. The water is boiling for the polenta. Whoa. I'm going to add the baking soda, which I just spilled on the countertop. So we're going to do that again. There we go. And salt. Excellent. And a full two-thirds cup of polenta. I'm going to add that right in. There we go. <gasps> Whoa. And we're going to stir, 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 stir so it doesn't get lumpy. Hopefully I didn't kill it. Oh my goodness. It's pretty lumpy right now. Uh-oh. I have to do this again. All right. Oh my goodness, I was ruined the polenta. I think we're going to be okay. Stir it up. There we go. All right, I'm going to turn it way down though so it doesn't over overcook. Excellent. Excellent. I say okay. it's not as creamy as I would have liked it to be. And I think it's not not enough liquid. So, all right. Now you're gonna see you're gonna see whether I'm a real cook because I don't like the way the polenta has lumped up. I, I added uh, it. Uh, it got lumpy right away. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put some water in the measuring cup. I'm gonna heat it in the microwave. And I'm gonna gradually add it to the polenta. We're gonna see if we can smooth that out. I'm going to see how good a cook I am. Let's just figure it out. I might need a shot of something for this. Yep, it's lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. I don't like lumpy. I got some warm, now really hot water. I'm going to add to the polenta. A little bit at a time. See if they can smooth that baby out. Mm. Right. OK, 
Okay, that was uh, that was a good idea. I'm going to do it again. Let's move the asparagus around. So it's, there we go. Alrighty, a little bit more hot hot water to the polenta. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. All right. I think we did it. I think we've got it by George. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's as low as it's going to go. The polenta is a lot better than it was. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. We are actually pretty close to dinner. I totally did not cook the polenta like the uh, my Cook's Illustrated says. Really, I mean, it's not that difficult, but somehow I screwed up. Although I fixed it, so it's okay. I'm going to add a whole bunch of butter to the polenta and a whole bunch of Parmesan cheese. Like that, right. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let that do its thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now, um, vegetable-wise, I'm a minimalist. I really like vegetables that are just another thing. Man, the polenta. Oh, it's so beautiful. The polenta is okay. I screwed up the polenta actually. And I screwed it up, and then I fixed it. Now, there's a cook, okay? okay. I screwed up the polenta, and I went, oh. oh, my God, but I fixed the polenta. So we yeah. have... What happened? I um, added the, the cornmeal, which is basically what it is, is cornmeal mush, and I added it too fast to the boiling water, and it lumped up. It got okay. lumpy. Right. So knowing that it was going to be lumpy, I boiled a couple of cups of water and added the hot water to the polenta and stirred it up until it mm -hmm. unlumped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then what we got to do to get it on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're talking. Yeah. I'm here. So, I'm talking. Here we go. Uh, so it came out really, uh, hopefully it came out pretty good. So I'm going to put it in the bottom. Show actually what I did. <laughs> I have to go. I was I this is I was run back in going, okay, look Axel here and I haven't figured out yet. I don't want to take the camera down because it's in the perfect position. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, do I put the food up to the camera? <laughs> Yay! You know, am I gonna like lose it onto the floor? Here's the wonderful polenta that I fixed, okay? Uh -huh. Any